video we are going to talk about the mutual relationship between the yucca plant and the moth yucca is a species of perennial herb in asparagaceae family the relationship between yucca moth and yucca plants is an example of obligate mutualism many species of yucca plant can be pollinated by only one species of yucca moth while these moths use these flowers as a safe place to lay their eggs it is a particularly important one because neither the yucca or the moth can survive without the other the moths larvae depend upon the seeds of the yucca plant for food and the yucca plant can only pollinate it by the yucca moth when a female is ready to lay eggs she first goes to a yucca flower to collect pollen unlike most moth species yucca moths have two short tentacles near their mouth that they use to scrape pollen from the anthers of the flower as she collects the sticky pollen the yucca moth packs it into a ball and sticks it under her head she then flies off to another yucca flower when she arrives at the second yucca flower usually one that has recently opened she goes straight to the bottom to find the ovary she opens a small hole in the ovary and lays her eggs inside once the eggs are laid she scraps a small amount of pollen from her sticky ball with her tentacles walks to the stigma of the flower and deposits the pollen she may return to the ovary of the same flower to lay more eggs or fly to another flower either way before she leaves the flower she marks it with a pheromone a chemical that other moths can sense The scent marker will intimate visitors that they are not the first to reach the flower and they will either lay fewer eggs than the first moth or none depending upon how many moths have left their scent already This is to ensure that the number of larva that hatch within each flower is moderate and prevents the plant from aborting the flower altogether When the eggs hatch the larvae feed on yucca seeds within the fruit typically there are more seeds than the larvae in a particular flower when the larvae finish eating they bore out of the fruit usually during the rainy days burrow down into the ground to make their cocoon and wait until the next spring each spring adult moths emerge from the underground cocoons and the males and females meet up with each other on yucca plant to mate yucca moth larvae don't feed on anything other than yucca seeds so each species depend upon each other for their survival and both benefit from this beautiful relationship <laughs>